Let x denote the sum of two distinct numbers selected randomly from the set of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Construct a probability distribution for the random variable x. So note that we have five different numbers inside of the set, and we want to let the outcome x denote the sum of two distinct numbers. So our sums are 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Um, the reason why the sum of 1 isn't on there is because there's no possible way to grab two numbers from that set to get a sum of 1. Same thing for a sum of 2. There's no way to get two distinct numbers to get a sum of 2. So the first sum that we can get with two distinct numbers is a sum of 3. Um, a sum of 3 can occur if we get 1 with 2. Notice that you could say, well, would 2 and 1 be valid? Well, it wouldn't in this situation. It's not like we're rolling two separate dice. Um, we are limited to the numbers in this set, and getting a 1 and a 2, those are two distinct numbers that add up to a 3, and that's the same outcome as getting 2 and 1 in this situation. So the probability of getting a sum of 3 is one way out of how many total ways. Well, if we have five numbers and we're choosing two, um, that would be a combination event. So 5 choosing 2 is equal to 10. So then there's one way out of 10 to get a sum um, of two numbers that equals 3 out of that set. So now let's list the number of ways that we could get a sum of and by the way, for this problem on the probability, they're letting you type in the decimal equivalent, 0.1, or the fraction 1 tenth, and they're accepting both answers there. So for a sum of 4 from this set, I would be able to choose 1 and 3, and that would be it. So there's one way out of 10, so the probability of that is 1 tenth. A sum of 5, I would choose a 1 with a 4, or a 2 and a 3. So there are two ways out of 10. 2 tenths would simplify to 1 fifth, or the decimal equivalent is 0.2. To get a sum of 6, you could have 1 with 5, 2 with 4. So there are two out of 10 ways, or 1 fifth probability, again 0.2. To get a sum of 7, you could have a 2 and a 5 or a 3 and a 4, so there are two ways out of 10, or 1 fifth is the probability, or 0.2. Uh, to get a sum of 8, you would choose 3 and 5, so there's one way out of 10, or 0.1. And to get a sum of 9, the only way to do that would be to choose 4 and 5, so 1 tenth. So they just wanted you to fill in the probability distribution table there, um, listing all of the probabilities associated with those outcomes. We always want to make sure that the sum of our probabilities is equal to 1. So if you add it up, before we simplified the 1 fifth, remember that was 2 tenths for those answers. So if you add those up, you will get 10 out of 10. You can also check all of the different outcomes I've listed and count those separate outcomes up and you'll see that you have 10 different outcomes listed.